Hey, I'm right back with another video. So, I had my lunch and now I'm trying to calm down. Like, I just get so panicky and sick over this whole issue. And it's a lot to think about because it's abnormal, you know? So, anyway, I was thinking how, you know, the world has completely changed into a direction that, you know, I'm just like, God dang. I mean, I know the world's always been corrupt. I, can, I fully understand that. But, like, just looking at how this whole world is, like, the system of it, you know, like, the, the fact that you got these people who don't think about what's right and wrong, nor do they care, um, moral codes or ethics are not a part, really, of their rich religious belief, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with that, if it did, this would have never happened, it, it can assure you. So, you know, I, I'm just like, gosh, you know, I wish I didn't have to really fully understand evil the way that I do, you know. Um, unless, of course, something like this happens to you, you, you'll never fully understand it. And some people will think, oh, you know, you're over-dramatizing it. it. You know, I'm not over-dramatizing it. I'm really not. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I, you, you never know exactly how to go further, proceed further. Um, because, you know, the perps who are involved, like, for example, Holly or whatever, they're never going to man up. They're never going to. She questions she man up. She's a woman, right? But they're never going to, you know, confront the issue and, and shed any light on what they they're, 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 what they did. Because they will never admit to that wrongdoing, which goes to show you that, you know, it was something wrong and deviant in the first place. So, um, you know, and she knew, she knew she had no right to do such a thing, you know. Um, but then people thought she did because she was white, maybe? I, I don't know. And I don't like to bring up race issues, but, you know, you get people who think that way, and they shouldn't. The very thought that somebody would think that I need to, um, need to ask permission right there is that there's an element of racism to that. It's not sexism. Um, whatever the case is, I'm over the age of 18. I don't answer to anybody. So... All of this is very confusing for me, it really is, because I don't understand how somebody could even participate in something like this. Like I said before, but, you know, the more I look at things, and things have changed in the world, the way, like, the way they ask for certain employees, and, you know, it, all of it. Like, I'm so disgusted by how, um the system has become. I mean, it's, uh, there's always been people who, you know, a few people who were just a little bit, sh you know, not too good or not very efficient at their jobs, but it, it blows my mind, like, when I go out and I see this constantly, you know? I'm constantly seeing things like this, like, you know, confirmation that what I'm saying is true. Like, you know, I'll read articles, like, in a, pub in a publication, and I'll notice spelling errors. Now, that's not to say that people can't make errors, okay? But I used to do the same kind of stuff when I was a kid, and I rarely saw any. And now we have things like spell check, so how is this stuff happening? You know, I mean, I honestly sometimes feel like, oh my God, you know, are people just not... Where are people's brains? You know what I mean? Where is it? You know, where is all this intelligence? Where are all these people who claim to be qualified? Where are all these people who are supposed to know stuff, you know? Where is the ethics in, in business? Like, you know, if I complete an application or something to one business, is, am, I, is, am I safe to have my social security and my phone number on it? You know, or are they sharing information illegally with somebody else just for entertainment purposes? This concerns me greatly. Because, you know, I believe, like, my financial institution gets involved with this stuff. And it's, it's not, it's like, gosh, they invade your privacy, like, you know. And then in the back of these people's mind, oh, I'm conducting an investigation when their investigation is completely illegal. And they, that's how they justify it. But like I said, you can't do that. There's certain things that you can and you can't do. They're not authorized to do that. And if, if they were, which is absurd, I would never consent to such a foolish thing, they would have to get, <coughs> they would do it for everybody. So I'm being singled out, and I'm being singled out by the collective. And the collective, of course, is my family, and then, you know, whatever. I already mentioned who these people are. They don't belong to me. I don't have any of these people. You know, I'm already irritated, you know what I mean? 
I mean, irritated. Because some people will say, just, you need to get out there. I don't know what I'm facing anymore. You know what I mean? Because all I see are signs of mass genocide. And I really can't help but see anything else. I mean, here I am. I'm completely innocent from there the get-go. I've been saying that for months. For, for about almost two years on these videos, cool, apparently, with my 300 videos I've made. And then, you know, I'm sitting here telling people, because they've had a campaign against me with their bullshit rumors that were so thick that it would cause people to not donate one dollar to any of my legitimate requests. That's pretty, that's a lot of fucking hate out there that I'm contending with for something I never did. Okay, all because I'm good at my job? That's pretty strange. You know, because that's the only thing, and, and I don't know what it is. What is it, you know? So they must have also used some bullshit fact that, in their mind, that, you know, because I re it related to Piggy, he's my legal, well, he was my legal husband. I don't know how that works. And he was living with his mom before he and I moved back in together. Somehow that's my fault. And then there was a letter that I sent to Steve Lyles back in 2008, that was just a letter, never responded, nothing ever happened of it, and I never even contacted him or did anything like that after that. That's a big deal. I mean, there's a lot of people I contacted, you know, through Facebook and want to touch. I touch a base on people, and you bring up issues that relate to how I knew them. So that's the, that's the icebreaker, I guess, you know, formal icebreaker. Like, if I was to contact a girl, I, you know, I might bring up the color of her hair or the, the clothes or the shoes that she wore or whatever. In my case, I used to kind of, like, you know, stock Steve so That's what I kind of mentioned in the letter. But other than that, I mean, nothing happened. So what is this whole rage to fucking goddamn take Maria down? I don't understand it. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, it gets terrifying. You know what I mean? So it's almost like... You know, I don't know what I'm dealing with here, because am I dealing with, you know, deep, seated, like, clans type material, because an underground white supremacist movement, is that what it is? Because, I mean, I, it seems kind of like that, borderline, you know? I often wonder, because in, in, in so many ways, it should look like, wow, this, how this happened to this person? It's the truth. You can ask anybody in town. What happened to me is true. If they can remember what happened over at the Murrays, they know what happened to me is true. They know when I went to last, the next place, weird shit was going on. If you could trace my storyline line by line, by year by year, I remember the time frame. This is 100% truth. Okay, now mind you, I'm not in a state of destitution to where I'm facing eviction, okay, but there was times where I was damn close, okay. What I was asking for is, well, if Bakersfield wants me to get out of town, does Bakersfield want me to get out of town? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think anymore. Now, if this stupid bitch Polly really wants her son all to herself, all she could say is, Maria, you know what? I, <laughs> gross, but I want to be with him, so, you know, could you find something else? Does she, is she such a weak person that she feels she has to turn the entire town against me? I don't fucking understand this shit. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Um... I do think she's a weak person. I mean, come on, like, they're they're both weak. I mean, they can't they deal with the reality. Um, I, I don't, or confrontation, I should say. But I, I don't, I'm like, I'm just, I don't get it. I don't get how people think. And wh what I don't mean is I don't understand how, like, nobody values anything anymore. Like, they don't value hard work. They value, you know, this bullshit system of, 